What's good everyone, it's Adam from My Music Mogul and today's video is gonna be a quick one and hopefully it's gonna answer a lot of questions that I've been recently getting. And that is how do I browse and load my custom samples into Logic Sessions? And uh, I'm gonna show you today the best way to go about that, how to preview, how to browse, how to load, and just work with your own custom loops, samples, uh, drum kits, MIDI loops, whatever MIDI, whatever it is, you can find it right here. The first thing you gotta make sure is that your folder, your sample folder is neatly organized, whether it be on your desktop and your documents, just know where that folder is and make sure it's nice and organized so that you can get to your sounds very quickly, but that is completely up to you. The next step, all you gotta do is go to the top right hand corner and click this files button over here, then go to the all files tab and locate that sample folder wherever it is located on your computer or your external hard drive. In my instance, or in my case, the folder is on the desktop, so I'm just gonna hit this home button over here. I'm gonna to browse to the desktop, and here is my sample folder right over here. My samples, here are all my samples. And what you wanna do here is very important because you don't wanna to browse to that folder every single time you want to load up your samples. It's very cumbersome, and it sort of takes the magic out of music making. Everything needs to be really, really quick. So what you wanna do is right-click on the My Samples folder, or the name of your folder and go to bookmark. Once you click bookmark, you can quickly access it whenever you want. So the next time you open up this files button over here, go to this bookmark tab right over here or button. All my samples are in one folder. I got my drum kits, MIDI kits, one shot kits. So if I go to my drum kits, I can go to the drum kit I'm looking for. And then I can quickly browse all those samples. If I want to use one, I can just quickly drag it in and just put it as a drum machine designer. Similar with MIDI as well. So what we do here is I'm just gonna bring in a hi-hat here. Let's bring that in over here. And we're gonna go back to my MIDI kits. Since it's a hi-hat kit, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in a MIDI onto my hi-hat. And you can quickly work with MIDI as well, just like that. So that's like a really quick way to work with MIDI, drum kit samples, loops within Logic. The key thing here to remember is once you have your folder, leave it intact, make sure you browse to it, find it, right click and add it to bookmark so that you quickly just access it whenever you want in any session. Very, very easy to uh, work with samples in Logic. Hopefully that answers your question. If you do have further questions, want to talk more about this, we can go ahead and talk down in the comment section below. But that's it for me, guys. If you did like this video, remember to thumbs up, share it, and of course, hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one. I'll talk to you all soon. Later. Peace.